Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra has been sharing a powerful teaching titled How to Find Peace. Yesterday, he shared that to have the peace of God, God must govern your life. Today, he continues. Let's join him. When you are young, you will think that, oh, you can use your body anyhow. But when you grow up, you realize that the way you have used your body, it begins to show. So even to govern your body well, look, you need God to govern your body. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Even to maintain a healthy body, very important. It says the government shall be his responsibility. If we want to find peace, we must let God govern everything. Whether therefore you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. How you use your money, how you use your time. Very important. When God governs you, the reason why you have peace is because of Two reasons. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with two things, judgment and justice. Two things bring the peace. The two examples are given. The first one, judgment means decisions. When a judge decides or gives a verdict, he has decided and is going to make a decision concerning you. Then justice, that word justice, the actual word is righteousness. It's the same word that is translated righteousness in the Bible. Actually, it's considered more of righteousness than justice. So it says that when God is governing, there are two things that happen that bring the peace. It brings order, and then it establishes it. It made the order and the peace last for a long time. But it's based on two things. His judgment. In other words, if we say he's going to be our government, we must allow him to make the decisions. Today, a woman asked me a question. We had a time of interaction. And in this time of interaction, they just asked me questions. And the person said to me, my husband doesn't pay tight, doesn't come to church. So I have spoken and spoken and spoken. Well, listen, what do I have to do? I said, number one, stop talking. I said, that's the first thing that you must do. And number two, I said, just be nice to your husband. Forget about the prayer. Just be nice. That's my decision. Where did I get this decision from? From the Bible. It's God's decision. If the woman were to ask God, God will give him a similar answer. It's taken from 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they, they may also, without the word, be won by the conversation or behavior of their wives. Whilst they behold your chaste conversation or behavior coupled with fear. So yeah, Peter is giving Mary counseling. He said, even if your mother, your, your husband is an unbeliever, an unbeliever, just behave well in the house. Stop this unnecessary prayer meetings and you don't behave well. Everything, but you come home and come and insult your husband. That is not God's decision. God's decision is stop the prayer, stop the nonsense, and behave well, that's his cancer. 
You may not like it, but that's his counsel. I didn't say it to him. It's in the Bible. But you see, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense. Even me, when I think about it, it doesn't make sense. But it is not my decision. It is his decision. And when we follow the decisions, that's when you experience the peace of God. That's what we mean by governor. Allow him to make the decision. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we learned that to allow God to govern your life is to let him make the decisions for you. This is the price of peace. Tune in again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. This one says, Dear Prophet, I was diagnosed with hepatitis C about eight years ago. I went from doctor to doctor to lab test, and my symptoms grew worse. I asked you to pray for me, which you did. And after a prayer, I went to see a specialist who required a hepatitis test. And to the glory of God, it was negative. I thank God so much for healing me. And all my liver function tests are normal. I want to give God the glory. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.